Hey everyone, welcome back to Pajama Crafts Variety Crafts in my pajamas. So recently I realized that I had never posted the DIYs that I made for Bree's frozen party and this was almost a year ago now because she's about to turn four in July. <laughs> But she actually helped me make some of these DIYs and I figured why not share them if someone could get some use out of it. So for the first one, we're going to make a giant three and we use this as a decoration at her party. And I apologize because some of the footage did get lost, um, but you will get the gist of how we made this. So basically we just got three little buckets and we put different amounts of paint in each one because we wanted to make kind of like an ombre effect so one of them we put a lot of paint and then the next we just put a little less and then a little less into the third one so we had three different colors. I would have probably done some of them a little bit darker because the last ones that we did looked almost white but it's okay it still came out cute. Anyway, Brie just helped me poke all of these coffee filters down into the bottom of the containers with um, a little stick. And then uh, since they were all soaking wet, we just put a big tablecloth that we use for crafts and stuff onto the table. And I separated them out. I didn't put them just one by one because that would have taken 59,000 years. Um, so I just did like small little piles and let them dry and when they were dry uh, they came apart very easily. So then for the next part we just had some poster board from Dollar Tree and so this whole entire project was really really uh, inexpensive and simple to do just a little bit time consuming with the coffee filters. But so what we did is we just drew a three onto the poster board and I was not worried about it being perfect because the coffee filters were going to cover the edge anyway, but I just made it the best that I could and then I just cut it out with a box knife and just make sure that you're careful with this part and obviously I was keeping Brie back away from where I was cutting at this point. So once I had the whole entire thing out of there, I this is the part that I lost, but basically I just scrunched up all of the coffee filters one by one. This was the time consuming part, but um, you just kind of scrunch them up and twist a little at the bottom and I hot glued them all next to each other all the way around the whole entire three and I think it came out really, really cute. And then for the second DIY, we just did this little uh, banner type thing and this I used some tool from Dollar Tree, which you can tell because the glitter was falling off of this thing like no other. It was insane how much glitter was on the table after this. I had to take a brush to it to get into all the grooves of the table. It was insane. But I hope you can see here what I'm doing. I just used a piece of ribbon and taped it on both sides. And then I cut a bunch of the pieces. And this was from like four rolls of that stuff. So you can see how small it was. So if you want to make a long one for a whole table or something, I would suggest uh, getting it from like a bigger craft store or something like that. But for the last DIY, it was just these little party favors. I didn't really show how you make these because it's just so stinking simple. But I just made a little tag on my Cricut that said, do you want to build a snowman and put marshmallows and then pretzels and things to make it. You could also make other little labels for the snacks. Like I've seen for the carrots, you can do Sven's treats and then like snowballs for little mini donuts and things like that. I also made both the cakes, so Olaf floating <laughs> and the Elsa cake, which I did not film because I made it the morning of and that was just really chaotic, but I will link a video down below of how you can do that. But anyway, I know this was just a little simple video with just a few DIYs in it, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a great party. She had a great time and that's what matters. And if I do any DIYs for her upcoming party, I will record those for you as well if you'd like to see those too. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!